today we are going to create the harness for a typical gas or diesel engine with the switches, uh, with the gauge, with everything. If you understand the harness and you understand the wiring of the harness, uh, probably you can uh, build any type of uh, harness for different engines and you can troubleshoot any type of engines in the future because you know where is the problem. Ah, I only hear click but no start or the engine is uh, running and it stops suddenly. Ah, I know where could be the problem. Or the engine uh, is running 20 minutes, uh, stop and uh, start again immediately. Or the engine is running, suddenly stop and no start. If you know the harness, you can solve it millions of problems. You remember that uh, depending on the engine, uh, this is the harness, ah, it's a spaghetti of cables. Uh, but it's not complicated. Today we are going to do this harness. And uh, everything starts here, no? On the switch. Off, ignition, and start. Everything starts here, and after that, a lot of sensors, a lot of relays, a lot of are connected in, 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 in the harness. And uh, this element controls the operation of the engine. Yes, everything starts here on the ignition switch. This is the number one. You need to be familiarized that uh, in marine application, in marine engines, uh, in some cases you don't have the switch. In the majority of the cases in, in, in boats, you don't have the switch. You have a uh, push buttons. You have one push button for stop, other push button for preheat, and other push button for start and run. No? Those buttons are momentary, momentary buttons momentary button, no permanent. One for a stop, other for a preheat, another for a start or a run. Uh, you remember the switch? This switch, the traditional switch with the key. Uh, we have uh, three terminals, you remember? One was the battery, the other one was uh, ignition, and the last one, you remember? Storm. For a signal for a start, and the first one, battery. Which of those of those switch could be battery? You remember that uh, the current the current enter here, no? In battery. The current coming from the positive boost bar or switch selector, you remember that? Yeah. Is entering over there. Let me explain something. Normally this switch, all of them are momentary. Momentary buttons. This one is normally closed. This one normally open and this one normally open. What is the meaning normally close? The internal contacts are? Together. Close, together. Mm -hmm. Ah, when you press the button, what happened? No, no, no. Open. Ah, in this one, normally open, what happened? Because normally open. are open. open. When you press? Close. close. Ah, okay, it's opposite. All right, if I have normally closed that one, if the current is coming from uh, the positive boost bar, exactly the same like this, Ah, internally the, the power is here also. Oh, this one could be battery. This is battery. Ah, when you activate that one, what happened with the engine? Shut down because you interrupt the current. Oh, nice. That one will be stop. What about the preheat? What is the meaning of preheat? This is this is a common uh, word used in diesel. Warm, warm, warm the engine. Uh, you preheat, especially in the morning, no? You preheat, beep, 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 beep. And uh, when you remove your finger, what happened? The engine is ready to start because it's preheated. Preheat is ignition. You remember when you activate ignition in your car, you hear that the fuel pump and you hear a lot of elements powering, no? Ah, this is preheat. Ah, okay. This one, preheat is basically the same than ignition. And of course, this is a start, no? The last one. Yes, my friend, in, in, in the majority of the engines and generators in a boat, you don't have ignition switch. You have those three buttons. Stop, preheat, and start run. All of them. Okay, in other words, the most important is that uh, you can replace this for this. Ah, I have, a, I have a question. My engine, my engine in the engine room have those buttons, start, uh, preheat, and run. Can I install another remote switch in the flybridge? This type of switch? Yes. 
Yes, you put this one in parallel with this. And you start the engine from the fly bridge. And can I install another one in the pile of hand electronic? Yes. All of them are in parallel. That's okay. I have a question in that point. You have in the fly bridge one ignition switch like this. And in the button in the engine, switch like this. Pim, pim, pim. The engine complains. Oh, I start when I start the engine directly in the engine room with those buttons, I start immediately. But uh, on the fly bridge, nothing. In the engine room, I start the engine. Directly here in the panel. But over there, nothing. This switch on the fly bridge receive the power in the position B from uh, what group of batteries? Electronic or house batteries. Yeah. And this one here from the cranking battery. If those batteries, the negative, is not connected, what happens when I try to send the signal? Nothing. Ay, number one. This is a very common, how many calls related with that you receive per week? <laughs> normally, 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 in any type of engines, if you check the control box of any engine or generator inside, you have one circuit board like this with three or four relays. One for stop, other for preheat, other for run, and other for fuel in some cases. One minimum you have four of them, of those. All right? Okay. We are going to make a picture about those relays. And, uh, we are going to create uh, our cranking system. You remember, in the cranking system, we need uh, the crank relay, no? Yeah. And uh, we are going to install the start motor. In the start motor, we have a two big terminals, and the second one enter in the coil of the motor, no, guys? Right. And uh, you have a one small terminal here for the signal, and uh, you have uh, the ground. Normally, the ground is in the body of the, of the star. Of the star. And uh, this is the star. And uh, of course, we have here, we have here the switch selector, you remember? And uh, this is the power, the big power. This is coming from battery one, and this is coming from battery two. You remember that, guys? Yep. Okay, you have that situation. And, uh, but uh, because today we are going to start the engine, we need one fuel pump. Normally, the fuel tank in a boat is located below. This is the engine and the fuel tank is over there. For that reason, in the majority of the engines, marine engines, you need a transfer pump or a lifting pump to bring the fuel from the tank in the engine. Because the tank is, is yeah. And you need this pump to bring the fuel to the engine. And after that, and after that, you have a solenoid here, and that solenoid, open or closed, if the solenoid is, is closed, the fuel enter. If the solenoid is extended, the fuel enter? No. No? And the engine stop or no run. This is gasoline, look at this. This, this solenoid allow that the fuel enter in the carburetor. This is gasoline. In diesel, look at the fuel injection pump, guys. Look at the injectors coming from the fuel injection pump. This is the fuel injection pump, and the fuel enter in the fuel injection pump only if this solenoid is extended. If it's retract, the fuel not enter, and you don't have fuel in the injectors. Ah, this is a start-stop solenoid. This is start stop solenoid what happens if that solenoid is extended no fuel entering and the engine shoot down and the engine shoot down okay we are going to start this engine number one we are going to connect the power we are going to bring power to the stop switch because this is the battery and because this is normally closed i have power here in the free heat ah okay what is the meaning of that if i connect the battery I have power here in pre mm -hmm. But I pass the power through this point only when I press the button, oh. because this is momentary. It's normally okay. open. I press the button and I pass the current here. And what happened? When I pass the current, you activate what? 
the crank relay. You remember? And what happened when the crank relay closed the contact? The big current entered into the star motor. Okay, in this moment, the star motor is spinning? No. no. We need a signal. We need a signal coming from a star. A star. Coming from this or this? A star. Ah, pay attention. When I bring the signal here, when I press that button, I pass current here. At the same time, this connection is permanent. Exactly like this. And this one, and this one with dot lines is only when you press the button. Ah, pay attention. I have here in this relay, I have three relays. One relay for crank, other relay for run, and other relay for a stop. Oh, nice. I love it, that configuration. Crank, run, and stop. Here, in the position 30, I have 12 volts. And I want to send, I want to send that signal with a yellow red cable here. And of course, this relay is powered from this momentary switch. What is the meaning of that? Guys, if I press this button momentary, I send current here, and what happened with that signal 12 volts? Pass over there, and what happened with the star motor? Crank, 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 and I have cranking. Good. Excuse me, what happened when I removed my finger here? No more cranking. Ah, excuse me, Mr. Lopez. I need this and this at the same time to crank in? Yes. You remember in those engines, marine engines, you need both at the same time? Preheat and start at the same time. When the engine starts, you remove the start finger, that one, and you continue 10 more seconds with preheat. When the engine is running, running, stabilized, you remove the second one and the engine continue running. Everybody follow me? Okay, now we are going to talk about that, that, that situation, that moment when you remove that finger, the second one, this one. Okay, now it's cranking. Good. The motor is cranking, but uh, no start. The engine start? No, it's cranking. To start the engine, you need what? Fuel. You need fuel. Ah, okay. We are going to supply fuel. I am going to connect other position 30. Other 12 volt signal here. Where is coming that 12 volt signal? From the same, the same positive boost bar. That's okay. It's signal 12 volts. It's signal 12 volts. It's signal 12 volts. Okay. I want that uh, that signal, when the signal pass here, I want that that signal hit the transfer pump and the start stop solenoid. You remember that, guys? Yeah. The start stop solenoid, start stop solenoid, and 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 transfer pump. Ah, okay. From that relay, run relay, I want power here for this pump and this relay. Yeah. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. This one, the second relay, the run relay is. Ground here and power here. Power here. This is for run. Ah, I am going to bring power with the same purple cable here. What is the meaning of that? Guys, follow me. I am going to start the engine again. Look. I press the button preheat. No? Mm -hmm. And now I bring current here. I press this one, both of them at the same time. When I press this and this, I have power here, power here, and I have signal here. The star motor is cranking. cranking. Ah, okay, it's cranking. And uh, the fuel is entering in the engine? No. Yes, because I send power here, and this signal activate the pump, and, and open the solenoid. Yes or not? Yes. Ah, now the fuel enters, the engine is cranking, the engine Sorry. start. Bingo, the engine is running. Pay attention, immediately the engine start, I remove these fingers because I hear that the engine start, I don't need more, more cranking. Everybody follow me? No more cranking. Ah, okay, great. But I continue with this finger. 
What happened when you remove this finger? What happened when you remove this finger? This and this stop, and the engine stop. I need to stay over there for, for three hours. <laughs> okay, now I start the engine, but I have a problem, Mr. Lopez. If I remove my finger from preheat, stop. Oh, wow. How can you avoid that, guys? I need, I need supply power here, also at the same time from other source of power. When I remove the purple power, I have the red one. I am going to eliminate that color. I am going to put orange power. Where is com coming that orange power? Alternator. From the alternator. Where? <laughs> alternator, you remember guys? Yeah. The positive output, what color is? Orange. Orange. And this is the power. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, now I understand. This is why I need press preheat, press start, crank, 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 crank. The engine start, I remove this button, and I continue 10 more seconds with this. You remember? Yes. Until what? The alternator produce current. When you start the engine, immediately the alternator produce? No. no, it's after some seconds, no? Ah, those seconds, I have my finger, da, 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 I remove that. Ah, oh, that, the engine continue running because current enter from the alternator. Bingo, guys. Now, this one is excitation, you remember? No. Excitation, and uh, da, ba, ba, ba. You, you know that. All right, ah, great, I like it. I like it, now my engine is? It's running and it's perfect. 